Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Michelle and the channel is called Shell's Bits and Pieces where you will find a little bit of everything all in one place. <laughs> so today we are going to do a haul. Um, last night I went to the Goodwill Outlets or AKA the Goodwill Bins. You guys know how much I love it there. Uh, and I hauled probably the biggest craft supply haul that I have ever gotten. Um, from the bins ever and I've been going there regularly for about four years so <laughs> you guys are really in for a treat today so let's just jump right in um, I'll chat a little bit with you about some of this stuff and some of these items that I did find may end up in my Etsy or Mercari shops I haven't quite decided yet but let's just jump right in so first off I have got a pile and when I say a pile I mean a pile of Jolie's Boutique and other brands of these die cuts, stickers, uh, you name it, I found them. And yes, there's, there's more, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's just look at what we've got here and we'll just start from the top and work our way down. All right, so this, this is my first pile. This is not everything. I'm gonna move this off to the side and kind of go through here just a couple at a time. Um, these Jolie's Boutique, um, they're like stickers, embellishments. I don't know what you would call these, but this I thought was just absolutely adorable. I don't know what I'm going to use any of this stuff for. And like I said, I may end up selling some of it in my Etsy or Mercari shops as a lot, or even putting it on eBay for that matter, uh, because I have so much of it and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> but anyway, so there's all different kinds of themes and holiday stuff here and i just want to kind of run through it as quickly as i can because i know your time is valuable and i want to respect that as much as i can so we're not going to explain a lot of these things i'm just going to show you what i found and tell you if there's um, anything here that i absolutely love or will use but as we go through oh this one i think is cute um, i'm a huge disney fan and uh, anytime I find anything with Mickey Mouse on it, I pick it up because that's just who I am. And I'm sorry, my dog is outside and he's barking at the neighbors. So I'm sorry if you can hear him, but he's, he's a lively little guy. He's, uh, he's a mix of um, Russell Terrier, Akita, and Boxer. And he is just the most, <laughs> he's the best dog ever. He's so smart and he... Uh, yeah, he, he's a good boy. So anyway, so here's some more. Um, I've got Halloween. I've got bikes. I've got, it looks like dad, maybe some more Halloween, some cool little shapes here. And I'm sorry, I'm not kind of organized today. I've been a little out of it lately. Um, I've got some things going on that are concerning me and I'm just, I'm trying not to be uh, emotional or sad or worrisome, but I did get a diagnosis um, a few weeks ago that I have um, a common form of cancer. And uh, so, yeah, I'm working on uh, getting my ducks in a row, and uh, I think I'm hoarding craft supplies for when I'm out of work because I am going to need surgery. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I think I'm just subconsciously gathering as much stuff as I can so that at some point in time I can just sit and work with all this wonderful stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to go over everything that I found, but there are so many things here that are just amazing and cool. And Christmas is coming, so I will probably be working on doing maybe a uh, Christmas projects, maybe some Christmas cards. Uh, last year I made Christmas cards and I had every intention of going and doing um, these fabulously sculpted, crafted cards and I ended up not doing that because I didn't, I just, I kind of ran out of time and motivation and sometimes as a crafter and, and those of you that are crafters know that if you're not in the zone you can't create and it just makes it really difficult. So there's all of those and I did kind of go through that fast so if you need to stop and back up and see what I found please feel free. This one I thought was kind of neat. This is a, a Santa. Looks like he could be going down a chimney or these could be um, on the mantle like stockings that are hung by the chimney with care. 
uh, but just cute little stickers, embellishments, and just of all shapes and sizes. So there's those. And now at this one, I do want to show you um, particularly because it looks to me like um, somebody purchased this as a um, as an order at some point in time. And I'll take them out and I'll show you because I was kind of intrigued. Um, I don't know if any of you have a Goodwill outlet in your town or your city or in a nearby city, but it's a place where Goodwill kind of just sends everything that didn't sell in their stores and, uh, you know, collectively just sells it by the pound. And, uh, yeah, you can find some really, really, really great things there. Um, I am living proof of the wonderful things that you can find at the Google Outlets. I seem to find more than I need all the time. <laughs> so all of these were in this bag, and some of them are kind of neat, and I'm not sure if there was a, a running theme here, but somebody bought these um, back in 2007 from a place called Sandy Sticker Shack Online. But what got me was it was 2007. So this package sat somewhere and then was donated and has been around since 2007. That's a lot of years. That's like seven, seventeen, six. That's like 16 years this stuff has been untouched and I found it. And uh, there's a, a packing slip here and I'll try to cover up the, the people's names, but yeah, look at that. All of that stuff was $120.17. Can you imagine? Now, this whole haul that I picked up last night, and there were a couple other things that I'm not going to show you because they're not really craft-related, but I paid $18 for everything that I have here. So you guys are going to be amazed when I get through the rest of the stuff. <laughs> okay, so here's a couple other items that I found. I found this um, Halloween-themed jute twine. Um, I think it came from Target because it has the $1 Target thing on it. Um, maybe not, but it looks like it could be from Target. I think I've seen these in Target before. And then I found a couple of little uh, cool ribbons. This one has owls, and for those of you that know, I am a fanatic for owls. I love owls, and uh, yeah, anything with owls I pick up. I even have a purse with owls on it, and my wallet has owls. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then this one, um, I don't know, let's see, this one's called The Art of Autumn, and this one, come on, there we go, and then this one doesn't have any names or anything on it. All right, so next up, I found all kinds of embellishments that are not Jolie's. Uh, these happen to be uh, Making Memories brand, um, and I found these metal frame combos and there's a couple of different styles here uh, I thought those were neat and I'm telling you every time I see stuff like this I pick it up because even though I might not have a use for it right now sometime down the road as I'm doing my crafting and creating and designing and thinking about what it is I want to do if I have something in my stash then I can just go to it and I can find you know the coolest things ever so here's this these are just little charms or plaques and you can glue them to the front of a box or a card or something they're a little heavy so they might be a little too much for paper but you know if you have like chipboard stuff that you're making these might be good for that um, these are I'm not sure it says it oh epoxy brads and they just have cool little designs they have some butterflies and flowers and hello and i believe in you and this stuff because it's in these rolling f carts that are filled with everything they do get a little dirty and dusty and whatnot and i get some little bits of yuck on them so i do wipe everything down before i put them away i just didn't happen to wipe them down today before i pulled them for the um for this haul video so there's those and I thought these were the cutest things ever. I have never seen these before and I spend a lot of time in the craft stores but you know I don't look for stuff specifically like this. When I go there I'm looking for ink and paper and stamps and you know all kinds of other stuff. This stuff just kind of falls to the wayside but I think subconsciously I know that I can find it at the bins most often so I just pick it up as I see it and these will be cool for something I'm sure. Um, let me just kind of make a pile, another pile, because I've got so many things. 
So I'm just gonna make a little pile because I did find all this stuff in the bins too. All right. <laughs> There's some more stuff. So these are cool. These are music note brads. I'm sorry if I'm not in camera. I'm not really doing good today. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I think it's exhaustion, anxiety, and just a little bit of everything going on. Um, it's been really super slow at work, so I've been trying to look at ideas for new and creative crafts that I can do, and just it's nothing's working, nothing's coming to the surface. So anyway, these I have no idea. It says they are chic charms, chic charms, and it's called, this particular one is called Boy Crazy. I've never seen these before, so I think we're gonna open them up and see what's in here just because and I think it's probably for like baby boy crafts maybe I don't know but I thought they were neat and I'm sure there's something we can do oh yeah they're little charms and they've got little brads in there and they just say different things one says be daring and I don't think you have to use these for a baby boy theme anything they're just really simple and cute so I figured okay why not you know whenever like I said when I see stuff I grab it and here's another one also by whatever this was, whatever this company is, I don't know. Queen and Company, I think they are. And these are anchorettes. I don't know what an anchorette is, but this, I don't know, let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's got a sticker on it. That's why I can't get it open. Let's find a craft knife and see if we can get this puppy open, shall we? Uh, and it's been just a really beautiful week as far as weather goes here in Colorado. We have had um, a little bit of fall. Oh my goodness, I can't get this open at all. Oh, here we go. So these are what anchorettes look like. And they kind of look like, you know, you can put them maybe with a brad and maybe use them as like photo corners if you wanted. You could use them as a decoration, an embellishment, anything you want. That's the beauty of crafting. You know, you don't have to use things for their intended purpose. You can use them for other things too. These are really just little bobbles and bits that I found. Um, I always dig to the bottom because I find charms and little doodads and whatnot. So this is a little butterfly charm. This is just a, 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 a plaque piece or something. Um, it says a faith hope and love we got a butterfly and a deer and these are wine glass charms and then this little kitty cat paperclip is just the cutest I'm not a cat person I'm more of a dog person but you know what cats are pretty cute so there's those I got those this was a good find um, I am almost out of some of these colors these are just eyelets and um, I love these I the, everything that I have here as far as crafting is concerned um, most of it has come from the Goodwill bins so really when you go there and you find stuff there's no rhyme or reason there's no theme you know it's just when you see it you have to grab it and these are something I always grab because I use these a lot so this was a good find and here is something called dimensional two-sided embellishments and they're like little tags that have been enameled and they have little sentiments. Let's see if I can open this up and pull one out of here for you and show you. This one, okay, I'll pull a couple of them. This one says home. home. Oh, no, nope, that one says mother. Whoops, this one. <laughs> one of them said home inside the package. <laughs> And they're just little enameled. They're kind of dimensional, so they'll add some some interest and dimension to your project. So I got those. And then this I thought was cute. This is a one of a kind handmade handmade embellishment um, of Kris Kringle, and it looks like it's made of maybe some brass and some copper and maybe some aluminum or steel, made in Thailand uh, by Collectible Treasures, and it doesn't have any information on what it's made of but I thought it was really cute. I mean, if I wanted to do a Christmas journal or something, that would be really neat to put on the front of it. Okay, so here are some Bow Bunny colored brads and they look like they could be for like Easter or something. They're called Bodacious brads. Really cute. You know, I'll add some color and some pop to something. This, I have a couple of these actually, and I don't know how this one got in this pile, but these are tags um, for wedding decor 
I'm not getting married, but you know, somebody might. <laughs> <laughs> these I found, um, somebody must have had these as part of um, a package and maybe they did some crafting and then just kind of threw what they didn't use aside, but they are little frames, like slide frames, and they're a little different than what I'm used to having. Come on, focus, there we go. And this one's just got like cool stuff. It's probably for like a little girl. Um, or a teenage girl to do her journaling and put little pictures in and whatnot. But the beauty part is they seem to be paper or stickers on the front. So I could either peel them off, recover them, or paint them. And then they do have the back that opens. And just like that. So they're cool little slide covers and you know I can change the color or do whatever I want with them. Um, they feel like they're plastic with paper on the front so those are cool. So I got those. I did find another pair of scissors. These are gingers and uh, ginger scissors are really nice. It looks like they've been sharpened a few times but it doesn't matter because in my opinion you can never have too many pairs of scissors or too many bottles of glue. That's <laughs> just how I feel. Scissors and glue, very important staples in the world of crafting. These are called Queen and Company. Again, uh, these are little buttons called Go Green, and they've got some buttons in there. This packaging on this Queen and Company stuff is really unique. Um, I kind of like it. You know, it's pretty neat, and you can kind of put these in little baskets or a bucket or a box or whatever kind of storage you use, and just you know, kind of go through them. And when I'm going, and you know, not to change the subject, but when I'm going through my craft stuff, I just love the idea of finding something that I forgot I had. So I just love having all this little stuff everywhere. All right, we're gonna move on. We have more. So next up, I've got. Let's pull all this stuff over here. I found some things that are. Um, similar to the Jolie's Boutique stuff, but it's all like little charms and things. I've got some Christmas ones, I've got some Halloween ones, and it looks like you just pop these on something with some glue or a glue dot or one of those little foam things and just add to your projects. They don't look like they have, well, some of them have holes. You might be able to make like little dangle things with, with a few of these, maybe not all of them. Um, but I thought these were really cool. I got a bunch. I didn't realize because when I was looking through the bins, I just kept seeing all this stuff and I just kept grabbing it by the handful and throwing it in my bag. Um, I was really bummed out last night though when I went to the bins because I had a cart that I had put off to the side so that I could walk down the aisles a little bit easier. And usually it's not a problem to put your cart off to the side and park it where, there, where there's other carts, but one of the employees felt compelled to just go and dump everybody's carts out. So I had other things that I was going to buy and uh, those got uh, put back in the bins and shuffled around and I couldn't find any of the stuff that I found that was in my cart. So I was a little bummed out, but I did find all this craft stuff. So maybe that was the, t that was the, um, the trade-off, you know, I didn't need that so I could find this. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got, you know, some dress it up little charms. They're not buttons. Well, some of them are buttons. They have button holes. There's my, I just don't know why this thing won't focus. There we go. So that one's got a little buttonhole. And these are for Halloween. I have some of these other, I have another package of these that I had found in the bins that have different charms that I've used before. And I think I've shown you guys in past videos, but this is the first one I found for Christmas. And I really, I love this hang tag. Like the paper it's made out of is just, I, I love it because it looks vintage and distressed already. And you know, in the Tim Holtz stuff, there are tags that look like they're um, printed on this kind of cardstock paper. So I really like this stuff. Um, don't know if I'll do anything with that or not. I might be able to take it off here and flip it over and use the back side of it, you know, on the inside for something. That's an idea. Reusing what you have. And then I found these little um, metal tags. Uh, we've got some Christmas and some Halloween in there. I don't know what happened, um, but it appears that um, somebody must have had a craft hoard and either their house got um, cleaned out or maybe they passed away. Um, I don't know, but there, there's just so much there and I didn't even get it all. I just got as much as I you know, thought I could handle. <laughs> anyway, um, here's a couple other things. These 
I thought were neat. I've never seen these before. These look like um, sealing wax uh, things, you know, like when you do the sealing wax on an envelope, but these are plastic. So I'm hoping that they'll take some kind of color, maybe an alcohol ink or um, a distress spray or something. But I have two of them and it looks like these have bees on them and they're pretty cute. So I'll use those for something. And I got some fall leaf stickers. This I thought was neat though. I've not seen this before and it looks like it's a kit to make a really cool matchbox. And then there's cards that you can embellish as well. And it says matchboxes are the perfect size for storage and gift boxes. Ours holds 12 artist trading cards. Use them for trade as a gift or keep them all for yourself. Decorate as desired. Look at that. So I haven't opened this. You know what? Let's open it. I'm all about opening it. And this is made by Seven Gypsies. Um, it's from 2007. So I'm wondering if all this stuff came from that same person that had the um, package of stuff that came to $120. I wonder if this was her um, craft room supplies. And I wonder what happened to her. I do have her name and address. And, you know, I do um, find oftentimes that, uh, you know, people's lives end up in the bins. And it's really sad. I find baby pictures and um, military information and all kinds of stuff in the bins that just it, it just boggles my mind because I don't know what happened to these people and I don't have enough time in my life to find out. But, you know, <laughs> that's another story. So it looks like this piece has... Um, has creases. Oh my gosh, scoring. Okay, here we go. I can speak so that you can actually fold that piece up and it goes inside this piece after you decorate it and fold it or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's like all this cool stuff and then you just embellish it as you see fit. So that might be a video that we do down the road with this. Um, I don't know if these are still available anywhere, but it looks like a cool project to me. So I'll put that over here. All right, there's there's still more guys. I promise. <laughs> I was trying to go fast, and hopefully, I can. Um, here's just some miscellaneous items that I found. Um, I thought this was cool. This uh, says his vows on it, and it looks like somebody already created the beginnings of a small junk journal or a small journal for some reason, and it's got three signatures in it that are pretty thick. Um, lots and lots of paper in here and I'll show you it's three sewn-in signatures um, so this one really is just ready to decorate as far as I'm concerned I didn't even realize it when I picked it up that um, that it had the signatures I didn't even open it I just snagged it and moved on because when you're at the bins I don't know if you guys have been there or not um, in any city state area county whatever um, people can get very aggressive in that place and if they see something, they'll reach in front of you and snag it. And if you're not quick, you'll miss out. So I just was snagging and stacking my bag. <laughs> um, here is something that's called a chipboard alphabet. And it looks like it's in some kind of case. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't open it. Original price was $4.99. And it looks like it's got all the alphabets and some... Um, some of the symbols and things. So let's open it and see what's in here. Again, 2007. Right there. I don't know. I hope that lady just decided to give up crafting. Although, why don't you do that? Um, so yeah, it's got this cool little case. Oh, look at this. And it's, it's full. It's brand new. Nobody ever used it. And there's uppercase and lowercase. I don't know where the uppercase A's are. Um, oh, and look, they're sticky back. Cool. So there's just all of those cool letters and stuff. Looks like some of them are uppercase, some of them are lowercase. Uh, no rhyme or reason. Got some numbers. So, but they're chipboard. They're thick. So you know they'll go on something that's a little heavier maybe. And put those back in there set those to the side. Um, whenever I find ink pads in the bins, I always check to see if they're good 
and uh, if they are I pick them up and I do have quite a few ink pads um, that I've picked up over the years this one is chocolate brown and it's made by closer to the heart I've never or closer to my heart oops let's see here show you the back um, and it seems like a neat little ink pad it's brown it's used clearly but you know if it's still if it's still gushy and squishy and juicy then I am always inclined to pick these up and it's got a little bit of glitter on it too but it does work I checked it out and it's just a, a chocolate brown ink which is fine um, so yeah I have that I thought this was cool brand new in the package it's called Meyer Road and it's a two ring layer book six pages with two rings and it's just for you know you can decorate it any way you want you can make a junk journal you could probably even make like a, a story card or something all kinds of uses for this baby move this over here this is just a little bag i thought it was cute i actually had put in the little um bits of things like the little charms that i found so i wouldn't lose them and i thought you know what bag's cute i will keep it because you can never have too many paper bags with designs on them right this actually was part of a kit and I took it out of the kit because I didn't want the rest of the kit and it's just got some you know vellum envelopes and tags and things in it nothing major this um, was somebody's it's got this interesting Christmassy looking ribbon and it's got some little brass charms looks like we've got some poinsettias and stars and maybe a horn I'm not gonna take them out of the bag but I just thought they were cute and then I found these these are also vellum envelopes made by Laura Ashley and apparently they have adhesive somewhere on them probably on the back let's see great to coordinate blah 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 doesn't matter I don't know what that means anyway the unique sticker designs are created exclusively for and copyrighted by the Dicopotamus Incorporated. I don't know what that is, but whatever. They were cute. Um, I think that whoever this person was, she probably had boys and was doing boy crafts. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. And these are also. Wonder if there's a year. Uh, I don't see a year. Anyway, that's fine. Okay. There's more. <laughs> I've got some bigger things I'm going to show you now. Um, in Years ago, there was this company, and it still exists, but it doesn't exist as a brick-and-mortar company anymore. It's more of a mail-order company, and it's called Current. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Current company. They made um, stationary postcards, uh, just all kinds of things. I even had, when I, there was a time when in the late 80s, early 90s, that I used Current to do my, um, my, my checks, my, the checks that I write. I used them to print my checks. So anyway, I found a bunch of things by the Current Company. So I'm going to show you these now. Um, this is really cute. This is a Cabbage Patch card kit, but it's the, it's got Cabbage Patch coloring pages so that you could color your cabbage patch person anytime you want and it's called a children's activity card by current 1984 so there are one two three four, there's about seven cards and probably four envelopes of course they're not complete but I always find these because current as a um, as a little bit of info for you guys, was founded um, by an Asian family and they built their home base of the um, company in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It is no longer there, but it was um, an actual building in Colorado Springs. And so Colorado Springs, I guess, has a lot of um, people that must have worked there. And then after they either subsequently pass away or they clean their houses or they get rid of their stuff, whoever worked there probably had every current product ever known to man at that point in time. So I found those. These are called Calico Crossings greeting cards, and they're also made by Current. See, Current. And um, in here, there's just different greeting cards. Uh, let me see what it's per. Let's see what it says on the inside. It says, oh, pamper yourself today. You deserve it. I wonder if that should be my motto for today. <laughs> and then the dropping you a line just for you. Little girl jumping it. Jump rope. 
and then some envelopes too. I just, you know, like I said, when I see these, I pick them up because they don't make these anymore. These are something of the past and you can't find them unless you find them in the thrift store. These are from 1983. Right there, current. Hopefully that focused for you guys. But I guess this had four designs and I do have all four designs, so that's cool. So I got that. Um, this one is a sympathy card assortment, also made by Current. And it's cool how they have these in these little folio things. I mean, I could probably use these. And I've got a number of these that I've found over the years of just different types of cards and stationery. And again, you know, there's four. And then it looks like there's different, there we go, different styles four cards and envelopes and I guess that maybe that's all this came with was four cards because that's all that's in here. I wonder if the same is true with the other one. I didn't pay too much attention. Anyway, <laughs> these I thought were neat. These are little tags, uh, little gift tags for Christmas and probably just based on you know what I'm seeing here this one was probably meant to put on like a tin of cookies or something when you know Aunt Georgia brings you cookies and she has this little thing and I don't know where the Aunt Georgia came from. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I thought these were kind of neat and it's still sealed in the package. It's a little dirty and beat up on the outside, but I imagine whatever's inside the plastic is probably in really good shape. And it looks like there's four sheets on here. It doesn't really say it was probably um, a gift with purchase or something. So it doesn't have a whole lot of info on it, but this one's from 1982. So 1982, 1983, these um, cards and are over 40 years old. <laughs> oh my lord, over 40 years old. Okay, and here's another one. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, some nostalgia just kind of pops in every now and then. These are gummed labels, they're oval canning labels, and these, oh my goodness you guys, these are from 1980. Holy mackerel. I was a young girl in 1980, and what's in here? Oh, there's also a little baggie so that you could store them. But again, sealed, closed. Uh, this stuff might end up in my Etsy shop. I'm not sure. I haven't really got that far yet. All right, so I have a few more items from Current. Um, these are not from Current. Okay, so I found this. It's fully intact, brand new in the package. It is a cruel embroidery pillow kit made by Current from 1982 uh, with poppies on it. How, uh, how sweet is that? Now, if you wanted to do embroidery, oh my gosh, this is the set for you. 1982, and it is in its own brand new packaging. And I only grabbed one of each of these. Um, because I didn't know if I would be able to sell them or not. I have other embroidery kits in my Etsy shop and they're kind of not moving right now. So I didn't pick up too many more because, um, yeah. But there were multiples of these in the bins, but I only grabbed one of each. This is a counted cross stitch um, ornament kit. Again, brand new in the package, made by Current. And this one is from 1984. And it's very cute. Um, you know, cross stitch is a really great craft, but it's like it requires a lot of patience that I don't have. So, <laughs> anyway, this last one that I found is um, it's called Spring Spirit, and this one was also made in 1982. Let me see if I can get that. Yep, 1982, and it looks like um, daffodils and a butterfly. So again, new in the package, never used, never done, sat in somebody's closet for probably 40 years <laughs> at least. All right, so next up I found this. This is called a Heritage Scrap Kit, and I didn't open it to see what was inside, but it looks like there's a lot of rustic letters and words and things, and there's some papers in here. So this will just be a little, another little addition. I'm trying to turn it so you can see all the corners to my craft stash. You know, you can never have too many papers and, and embellishments, and I'm just going to have to start buying more storage. 
All right, I've only got a few more things left, guys, and then we'll wrap this up. Um, this next pile is just some stickers and rub-on transfers. Um, these, how many of you guys remember these? Oh, I remember my mom collecting these, and then um, after she had, you know, full books of them, and you guys know what these are, S&H Green Stamps. When she would get full books of them, we would go to the S&H Green Stamp store and redeem them, and she got some of the coolest stuff. She even got a sewing machine. She saved so many. I'm telling you, these things were the, were the ticket back in the day. <laughs> and then this, it looks like I have three of these. I thought I only had two. Okay, well, there you go. These are Rub-On Transfers, Christmas um, themed, and it's made by Hallmark, 1982 and again brand new in the package um, I'm not sure how much of this stuff I will keep or how much of it I will sell but chances are there's gonna be some stuff on my Etsy shop <laughs> for sure um, this was cute and I don't know if I'll use this or not or if I'll try to sell it but it's called Nick and Rudy and it's made by it's a country holiday border um, applique kit and it's made by What's New Limited and let's see the year there's no year on it so I guess we don't know when it was made but probably a long time ago and it's a cute little applique kit brand new in the package this would actually make a really cute greeting card and this one is called Nick and Rudy like I said but it looks like they have a lot of different um, different other ones that were available whenever these were new but like I said, there's no date on it, so I can't tell you when it was made. Probably 40 years ago. Who knows? <laughs> and then here's just a few more. Um, I got some more rub-ons and some stickers with words on them. I got this. I thought this was cool. This actually will look really neat in a junk journal, especially, you know, with the, with the way they have the words written out like a dictionary. And these will probably take ink really well. And it looks like there's a couple of sheets in here. Not terrible. I like it. And then we've got some Christmas stickers. We've got border stickers. We've got snowmen and Christmas trees and all that good stuff. And then I found this. thought this was cool. It's more, it says Christmas tree stickers and it's just got, you know, the long border stickers. It's got this big tree. You could probably decorate the tree with all these ornaments. And yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we are actually almost to the end, guys. I can't believe how much stuff I have. But there's a few more things. And these I thought they were cute. There's three of them. And these are called Moxie Fab Stickers. And it's just, they look like they're printed on canvas. And it's just like family sentiments and stuff for like family scrapbooks and stuff. But you know what? Even if you didn't... Okay, so my camera stopped filming for whatever reason. <laughs> so we are back. So I was saying about these particular um, stickers that, you know, they're printed on canvas and you don't have to use them as they are. You can cut them up as you see fit. Um, and they, uh, they look pretty cool. So I've got those. And then we are dwindling down to the last couple items. So these I found, and they are called calendar stickers. And there are two, two, three, five sheets of them. You know, and they've got all the numbers all the way up to 31, 1 to 31. And it's got different little pictures, emblems, logos, I don't know what you'd call them, of <laughs> different uh, themes and whatnot. And one of these stickers actually fell off. And I'm gonna show you. Come on, there we go, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it doesn't wanna focus, but anyway, they're little stickers and they're like on like a, a card stock. They're a little bit thicker, so they'll actually hold up really well and they'll probably take color pretty good too. They are coated, so I don't know how much color they'll take, but they're pretty neat. So I saw those and I thought, you know, I will use these for something or I'll put them in some sort of package when I decide to sell stuff on my Etsy shop. Maybe I'll do like little um, kits and whatnot of different ephemera, like ephemera package kits. If you guys would like that, let me know, and maybe that's something I can do uh, a little bit down the road because I do have a lot of craft supplies. <laughs> so I found this, 
brand new package of textured cardstock. It has 30 sheets of different colors and it's textured. It looks like it's textured on only one side though. The, the red actually. I don't know if you can see the texture or not. But it is a light texture. Not quite a linen but more of a, a mottled kind of pounded texture. Um, I thought that was really neat. So it's got all the colors. I thought that was neat. And this is from 2004. So this sat somewhere for a very long time. Um, it just amazes me how much craft um, stuff I can find when I go into the bins. All right, so finally, for the fiesta de resistance, I can't speak French, I don't know if that's correct or not. I found three um, brand new in the package, Silpat mats. Um, they're probably not Silpat brand, but they are uh, marked with um, inches and centimeters and uh, it looks like they've got little spots where if you wanted to drop cookies and make them even that you could do that but I like these for crafting um, but since they are sealed I may use one of these for baking I haven't really decided yet but from what I understand because they're made of silicone they are heat resistant and uh, you know you can use them for all kinds of cool stuff so that is it guys i am so glad that you decided to hang out here with me today and look over all the fantastic things that i found i hope that you guys have enjoyed it and if you do um, or if you have enjoyed it please think about liking the video just hit that little like button if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel i'm trying to build it to where it um, becomes monetized at some point in time because you know i'm getting a little older i'm trying to find various income streams to um, help facilitate my retirement at some point in time so <laughs> if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be fabulous i'd love to have you join our community and if you like what you saw if you saw something here that you think you'd be interested in buying please let me know you can send me a comment you can send me an email i do have an email address associated with this um this channel and it will be linked below so yeah just um join the fun um i'm trying to make this as fun and friendly as possible and uh, i can only do it with your support so that's it for today guys i really appreciate you coming by and once again my name is michelle this is shell's bits and pieces and i hope you come back and see me again